Michael here, back for another huge week in LEGO news with a reveal of the Black Panther Wakanda Forever sets. ATTE delayed. More Avatar sets and Atari 2600 revealed. VIP points coming to Target? Is this the end of Comic-Con exclusives, and are we getting more Back to the Future sets? In case you're wondering where last week's video was, I was on vacation in Disney World, and I got to see so many amazing things such as Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, where I built a lightsaber and had the best time. And while I was gone, you guys blew up my last video, which is over 95,000 views, so thank you all so, so much. And I'll kick off another round of the weekly gift giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with Lego deals from Amazon and across the web. So if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First up over Target, the Lego Marvel and Arisham Shadows, 50% off. Next at Amazon, the Mandalorian and the Child Brickheads are 35% off. And the Lego Minecraft Illager Raid is 34% off. Next at Walmart, the Lego Creator Animals Bundle is 33% off. And the Lego City Stunts Value Set is 38% off. Next over at Zavi, a bunch of sets are 15% off with code 15% off, including some newer ones and ones about to go up in price. And as a reminder, today and tomorrow are your last day to pick up some of these sets before the prices go up in August. Not to mention there are so many amazing sets coming out on August 1st, so if you want to pick up any of the new sets, these deals, or anything at all and support the channel, there's links in the description below. Next up over on LEGO's instruction site, we got our first look at three of the four new sets coming for Black Panther Wakanda Forever. First up we've got Shuri's Sunbird with 355 pieces. The main build for the set is the Sunbird vehicle itself, and here it seems to be folded up in its landing formation, as other toys for the film show it all spread out. And overall I think it's a pretty unique design with the purple cockpit and those large rotors. There's of course a new minifigure for Shuri with a great print that continues onto the legs and an awesome brand new hairpiece. Though the minifigure's design does look a bit different than other merchandise coming out for the film. Next up we've got Nakia who also looks great with this brand new print and I love the printing on the face. Though Lego may have missed the mark on her hair. Next we've got a new character Riri Williams in the Ironheart Mark 1 armor which looks really interesting with a cool print and lots of add-ons. And finally we've got Atuma with a really unique dual molded headpiece and tons of detail prints. Next up we've got King Namor's throne room with 355 pieces. The throne room itself seems to be completely underwater with all of the seaweed and the swimming fish. And I really like the design of the throne itself with all of the markings as it looks like a large set of teeth. And there was actually a brief shot of this in the new trailer. The other small build is for Shuri's submarine which again features a unique design with those clear panel pieces plus stud shooters at the front. The new minifigure in this set is of King Namor who features some really nice printing that even is on the side of the legs. And while many are saying it doesn't look exactly exactly like the design from the movie, there is this other design that's in different merchandise, which I think it looks a lot like, though they did miss the facial hair. And the other two minifigures are the same version of Shuri and Atuma. And finally, we've got Shuri's lab, which is a throwback from a previous movie. This four plus set has a simple build for the lab, but I like how the disc shooter can launch up that printed piece to launch the discs further. Plus there's some Wakandan weapons and a build for what seems to be some sort of skateboard. The new minifigure in this set is of course of Black Panther, which has a really nice design and I think is meant to represent the version from the movie or Civil War. And it's definitely not the newer style suit that we saw in the trailer. And the other minifigure of Shuri is one we've gotten before. Overall, I'm really looking forward to these sets in the movie, and I can't wait to see more official pictures. Next up in trademark news, Lego has filed for a brand new trademark for Brick to the Future. Lego fans may recognize that logo from the end of the promotional video from the recent DeLorean Time Machine Lego set. But of course, many fans are assuming that this might mean more Lego Back to the Future sets coming soon. Ever since the original Back to the Future DeLorean set from Lego Kuso, we've gotten Brickheads, Dimensions Packs, and even this most recent set, but fans have always wanted more. Part of me thinks they could be preparing for a more formal launch for the 40th anniversary in 2025, which would really be the perfect time to introduce hopefully a whole line of sets based on the movies. And if not a full line, I could easily see us getting a minifigure scale version of the DeLorean from the Speed Champions line, like we're getting iconic cars from 007 and Fast and the Furious. But whether it's the time traveling train from the third one, or even a modular building of the famous clock tower, there's just so much they could choose from, and I'm really keeping my fingers crossed. But as always, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Next up in LEGO Star Wars news, coming on August 1st, the ATTE was one of the most anticipated sets with its Phase 2 Commander Cody. But we've since gotten word that the set will be delayed. According to a statement on the Brick Fan, the set has been delayed a few weeks due to some delivery challenges. The issue seems to be limited to the North American market, and it's quite disappointing, as I know fans were clamoring for this set, and especially that Phase 2 Commander Cody. As for the exact date that the set will be coming out in North America, things still remain unclear clear, though LEGO does say they will update the site once they know. And while the set selling out was always likely, I think it may sell out even faster now that fans are forced to wait. Next up, last weekend was Comic-Con, and so there was tons of announcements coming out of the convention. And thanks to the Brick fan, we've got great photos of LEGO's booth and their presence at the event, including a giant 14-foot Mighty Bowser sculpture that moved. But one thing notably absent from the event was any sort of LEGO exclusive set or exclusive minifigure, as LEGO is notably not part 
part of the exclusive portal and didn't even do an early access set like they did at Star Wars Celebration. Many, of course, are speculating that this might mean the end of San Diego Comic-Con exclusives forever. I know I, like many of you, would be fine with these exclusives going away, as it's quite frustrating when you can't get your hands on things that you really want. But as LEGO hasn't released a statement on whether this was a specific choice or just a coincidence, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Also at Comic-Con, LEGO did reveal four more sets coming for LEGO Avatar, all coming out in October. First up, we've got the Floating Mountains, Site 26, and RDA Samson, with 887 pieces, retailing for $90. This set is comprised of a few different builds, which gives you a lot of options to play. The build for Site 26 has some really interesting shaping, though it's far scaled down from what it is in the movie. The entire top and side wall can be removed to play inside. Inside, we've got Jake and the Mobile Link Station, as well as all sorts of other equipment. The other build is for the SA-2 Samson helicopter, with its dual rotors, it has a really interesting design. A minifigure can pilot the ship, or hang out the side, and there's two stud shooters. Plus, the entire helicopter can be attached to this large stand, which allows it to look like it's flying and make a more dynamic display. And I love the look of the unique plant life. This set includes five minifigures, plus we've got this newer mold for the dire horse, like in the other Avatar set. Here we've got Norm Spellman and Jake Sully in their Navi form, and I'm still loving the longer limbs. Also included, we've got Dr. Grace Augustine, Jake Sully, and Trudy Chacon. There's some great prints, and Jake even has a brand new wheelchair piece, not to mention the great alternate face expressions. Next, we've got Jake and Interior's first Banshee flight with 572 pieces, retailing for $60. The build for the Banshees are, of course, the standout, and they each feature new custom molded heads and those really interesting plastic wings. They can each be posed and bond with a rider. The other build for the Hallelujah Mountains also acts as a stand for each of the Banshees for more dynamic posing. And the build looks really nice with all the waterfalls. Included, we've got minifigures for Neteria and Jake Sully with great printing and spears. Next, we've got Neteria and Thanator versus Ampsu Qualrich with 560 pieces, retailing for $40. This set is a classic face-off, and the build for the Thanator is super unique with its six legs and custom molded head, which can also link to the hairpiece. There's great posability, and this one can also attach to the main base like in other sets. And again, the foliage on the base looks really exceptional. The amp suit also looks really nice with all of its sticker detail, lots of posability, and the ability to hold a minifigure in the cockpit. Plus, there are multiple weapons which can be held in the hands. This set features two minifigures, including a unique version of Neytiri with that awesome face print. Plus, the minifigure for Colonel Qualrich looks really nice in the uniform. Next, there's also going to be Brickheads for Jake Sully and his avatar with 246 pieces, retailing for $20. While the Brickheads line isn't everyone's favorite, I think these two look really nice, especially with Jake Sully and the build with him sitting down in the wheelchair, and his avatar version with all of its adornments and great prints on the front and arms. Two of the sets are available for pre-orders so if you want to pick up and support the channel, there's links below. Also revealed before Comic-Con, we had the LEGO Atari 2600 with 2,532 pieces, retailing for $240 on August 1st. The Atari set features a ton of different components. At its core, we've got the main console with its classic stylings. I really like the wood detailing at the front, all of its different knobs and buttons, and even the ability to plug the controller into the back. Not to mention the joystick just looks spot on. The front of the console pulls open to reveal this hidden vignette of an 80s scene. Inside, there's a bedroom with a kid playing Atari with all sorts of nostalgic Lego-themed posters on the wall, plus a minifigure with his exclusive Atari torso. The set comes with builds for three different game cartridges, plus little vignettes to represent each one, including Centipede, Adventure, and Asteroids. You can place any of the three cartridges into the game slot, and you can even store them in this separate storage rack. While this set certainly won't be for everyone, I think it turned out really nicely, and I can't wait to see it in person. Next, thanks to a user on Reddit, we got a look at this new sign popping up at Target stores, which indicates we'll be getting LEGO VIP points for our Target store purchases. As of the recording of this video, the QR code leads to a page that's not yet set up. According though to the sign, you'll earn one VIP point for every dollar you spend on LEGO sets until the end of January 2023, which unfortunately isn't a great ratio, as normally $100 would get you 650 points, this time it would only get you 100 points. But with LEGO prices going up, I'll take as many VIP points and rewards as I can get. And I'm curious how this will work or if it'll expand to other retailers. Next, in LEGO Ideas News, there were three more projects that hit 10,000 supporters on the platform this week, so let's break them down. First up, we've got the A-Team, I love it when a plan comes together. The build is, of course, of the A-Team van from the classic TV series, The A-Team, and it also features the main four characters. This is actually this project's second time hitting 10,000 supporters, and after getting B.A. Baracus and LEGO Dimensions, I know a lot of fans would really like to get this one. The build is captured nicely, and I think it would make a great addition to our Speed Champions collection, especially with all these more iconic vehicles coming to the line, which is why I'm curious if the Speed Champions line may impact its chances. Next, we've got Heartstopper Charlie's Room. This project is, of course, inspired by the Netflix series, which has already been picked up for another season. The build is a vignette of Charlie's Room, and it really 
captures all the unique details inside. From his drum set, to the vinyl collection, to the board games he'd play with his friends, this scene will allow you to recreate tons of moments from the show. I love all this storytelling and attention to detail packed into the set, though I'm curious if it would be chosen because it's such a recent series. Next we've got the Treasury Petra. Petra is a city in the south of Jordan, and the treasury itself is a structure that's carved into the side of a mountain that happened more than 2,000 years ago. The photos in the submission feature the build itself in front of the treasury, which goes to show how well it's recreated, but also how interesting of a build it would be. While I think this build would make a unique display piece, it does seem that these architecture style and historical builds don't tend to make it past the round of review. Which is why, as always, we're gonna have to wait and see. So there you have it, it was another jam-packed couple weeks in LEGO news with so many new sets to get excited excited about. I'm personally so excited for the new Black Panther sets as well as all the Avatar sets because after visiting Pandora and Animal Kingdom, I can't wait to get my hands on them. And with it being August 1st here in a couple days, there's just so many sets releasing, so I definitely have to whittle down my list to decide what I'm going to be getting day one. And thanks again to everyone for your support on my last video while I was out on vacation. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below if you're as excited as me and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next Saturday with even more LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories and which one are you most excited about? And now now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations! And be sure to email me from the about page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win, and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted, because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks, and have a good one! Thank you to watch last week's video featuring the return of Indiana Jones, The Office, UCS Racercrest, Gravity Falls, Camaro, and so much more. And don't forget to subscribe!